Hello everyone, it's Lydia. I have some happy mail to share and I also wanted to share my progress on the Fairy Bell mini album that I'm working on and I've been super busy the past couple of days. First, I'm 100% better. Thank you ladies for your get well wishes. Um, over my cold, thank goodness, I thought it would never go away. And um, I've been busy renovating with my husband. He's a do-it-yourselfer, so we've been um, renovating the house we put in tiles in the master bedroom, painted, and added some French doors. Next, we have to tackle the bathroom because this house is very dated. And everything just needs to be redone. So that's a lot of work. But um, I had some time to sit yesterday and start work on my Fairy Bell mini album, which is very relaxing after doing, uh, you know, dealing with paint and all that stuff. So anyway... I received a surprise envelope. This is from Marla. She is KMSL Howell here on YouTube. And um, I didn't expect anything in the mail. So I was super excited to um, receive this package. And look at this card. It's so stinking cute. That's so cute, Marla. You make the cutest cards. I love the banner up there. The birdie's so cute. I love the pearl trims here. So she wrote me a little note, Lydia, thanks for the sweet package of washi tape. I think I'm hooked. Here is some fun fabric for you to make um, fabric flowers. Hugs, Marla. Thank you, Marla. I told you you didn't have to send me anything, but you did. I appreciate it. And I love this um, trim that she used here to tie the fabric. That would be great for a 4th of July layout or card or something. So I will reuse that, and I have this pretty, um, I like this tissue paper with all the little confetti on it. Looks like confetti. And she sent me a load of fabrics. Thanks, Marla. I can make flowers with these. I love this one with the butterflies. I don't know if you ladies can see them. There's butterflies on that one. I love this beautiful blue. This is cool for like a travel mini. It has a map on it. That's awesome. I would definitely use that on a mini. This is cute with the cherries. This yellow one with the flowers. These are beautiful, Marla. Thank you so much for sharing these with me. And the roses on this one. Gorgeous. Thank you, hon. Love ya. So I started work on my um, Fairy Bell mini album. So I have a hot mess on my table right now. So I decided I've never done um, a mini like with different shaped chipboard pages. And I don't have any of those mini albums because you can actually purchase them like that. So what I did was I dug in through all of my collection of um, chipboard mini albums that I have and I just lifted a page from each stack. <laughs> and I made my own different shape mini. So yeah, I wanted to give this a shot because uh, I've never done one. So this is what I've done so far. And it was, you know, it was um, really difficult to cut like all the different shapes because um, normally I cheat and I paint it in white and then I just cut a square. But um, this time I decided that I wanted to cover all the pages with the paper, so that was a lot of work. So I did that and I already went ahead and distressed all the edges in uh, Vintage Photo, which is like my favorite distressing ink. And uh, on all the pages I used these um, eyelets, these white eyelets by um, We Are Memory Keepers. And you could get these at Blue Moon Scrapbooking, that's where I get mine. And these are pretty, they're um, like glitter. Can you see the glitter on there? So I used like different colors on, on the pages. Some are glittery and some are not. And I titled it, Believe in the Beauty of Your Dreams. And I, I did like a little, you know, I ripped it here, tore it and curled it in a little bit and inked it up. And I started adding my flowers, my flower arrangement. I'm not done yet, but I have um, a crochet flower here and this beautiful brad that I just got. I can't remember the makeup, but I love it. Look at that beautiful brad. It's like a fabric button, but it has bling on it. And I just started adding my flowers, and I have a wooden butterfly here that I created. So I still need to add a couple more things on there. So like I said, it's a work in progress. So that's the other side of that page. And then right here, I added um, one of the envelopes that Karen sent me in a rack. And I added some of the large eyelets here. So I still have to work on that. Here's another page. This one is the um, 5x7 scallop mini albums from Michaels. So I just pulled one out and I'm using it vertically. And I added some white eyelets here. And these are not sparkly, they're just pink. 
So that's that side, and then here's the fairy on this side. And then here's a different shape. This was from one of the minis that Lori sent me. Thank you, Lori. So I cut the papers on that one. There's the fairy. I still have to decorate it. And then I used the chocolate brown eyelets on this one. Those are sparkly, too. And then this was from an acrylic al um, album, and it's just a tag. And I covered it with paper, and I added my brads. And that's the other side with the fairy. And then this is a different, another different um, mini, and I just pulled out one of the pages. I messed up here, and I punched a hole up here. So I'm probably going to add some ribbon or maybe a flower to camouflage the hole there. And again, I added my eyelets. Those are the sparkly pink ones. And here's the other side. So hopefully I'll have time to um, get this done with um, all the work I'm doing around the house. This is a canvas piece that Karen sent me in a rag. Thank you, canvas. Uh, Karen. <laughs> Thank you, canvas. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. And I added some eyelets on here. And this wide crochet trim from Cassie's Art, um, Art Fire Store. Filippicano 2. And I distressed it, so I don't know if I'm going to stamp on here or what, but... I will do something with that, and then this is the last page. I will probably add more envelopes and, and things into this. I don't know. We'll see how it comes along. There's the fairy again. She's so beautiful. And here are the eyelets. This is going to be the back of the mini. And there are the eyelets again, the sparkly ones. And I really like the way this peeks from the back. And most likely I'm going to try ribbon binding this time, because normally I add rings. So that's what I've gotten, um, that's how far I've gotten so far on the mini, and hopefully I'll have it um, finished within a week or two, because, you know, these things take forever. Okay, ladies, thanks for watching, everyone. Post the comments if you wish, and subscribe. Have a fabulous day. Bye.